Google My Maps has many applications for both teachers and students. Let's take a look at how to use Google My Maps. First thing we need to do is find it. So I'm just going to search for it. I'm going to just click on Google My Maps and it's going to take me here. So all I need to do to create a map, a map in Google My Maps is select create a new map. First thing I always do whenever I use a Google product or a Google app is I always title what I'm going to be working on. So to title your map simply click here where it says untitled map. Now I'm just going to type the title of my map in here. Now you see below the map title there's a description box. Clicking on that allows you to type in your description. Once you're done with that simply click save. Adding locations to your map makes your map more interactive. There are several ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way. The first way I'm going to show you is to simply type in the search bar the location that you want. So I might type in here Columbus, Ohio. So then you see all these Columbus cities show up. I'm simply going to select the one I want and it's going to take me there. Now if I want to add this to the map, I simply select add to map. Now it's added this to my map. A second way to add a location is to come up here and click this add marker. Now wherever I select it will add a marker. Once you have added what you want just click save. To remove it simply hit the trash can and that will delete that. Adding a description to your Google My Map helps to make your map more dynamic. To do this simply click on the pin. Now what you're going to want to do is simply click the edit button here. I can change the name of my location. Maybe I'll put Ohio State University as my point there and then I can add a description here. So I'm going to say OSU is located in Columbus and then I simply hit save. Another way to make your map more dynamic is to include an image. Now to do that you simply click on the camera icon. With this you have several different options. If you have an image saved in your Google Drive or your photos you can upload that image. I'm just going to do a quick Google image search. So I click on that and then I'm going to type in Ohio State. So I'll just choose whatever image I like and then I'll hit select. Notice it appears here. Again I'm simply going to hit save. Another way to make your map more dynamic is to add lines. So to add a line you go up here to the toolbar where it says draw a line. Click on that. I'm just going to click add line or shape. So I'm going to draw a line from Marysville, Marysville to Delaware. So I'll click on Marysville and then I'm just going to drag across and then I'm going to click on Delaware. Notice a line forms. I'm going to click again at the end of my line to deactivate that. Again I can name my line and I can add a description here. And then I can save it. I could also add uh, pictures if I want. Another way to make your map more dynamic is to highlight and outline an area. Let's say I want to highlight and outline the greater Columbus area. I'm going to go back up here to draw a line. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to click add line or shape and I'm going to click a point. Then I'm going to draw the line, drag the line over here, click again. Now since I didn't click twice my line is still activated. I'm going to click again because I'm just trying to highlight and surround this and I keep clicking on different points until I reach back here to my first point and when I click notice a couple things happens. One I can name this 
I can add a description. And then I can hit save. Now let's say I want to change the color of this circle. Maybe we'll make it a reddish color since uh, I used Ohio State earlier in the video. I just choose the color I want and then I can X out of that. Now that you've created a dynamic map, you probably want to share it with somebody. So what you're going to do is you're going to click share. So again, you have this link that you can share, but it's private, only I can access it. So I want to change this. And I just want to get a link to share with classmates or a teacher. So I'm going to click on anyone with the link. I want to check my access settings. I'm only going to leave that to can view because I don't want anyone else to be able to manipulate this. And I'm going to hit save. So then I could copy the link and share it with my teacher. If I wanted others to be able to work on it, I would just simply type their names in there. So then once you've copied that this link up here, you share that with who you would like to be able to see it and you're done. So you click done.